Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. My name is Rachel and I am a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And one of my favorite things to do on this channel is unbox liquidation boxes that I purchased online and then come back 90 days later and show you if I actually made a profit and whether the box was worthwhile purchasing. And so today we have a 90 day update from the Boutique by the Box Ted Baker Women's Premium Box. So if you wanna see if I actually made a profit, definitely stick around. This box I purchased back in February of 2023. Um, Boutique by the Box dropped some Ted Baker women's and men's boxes. Uh, this is the women's premium box. And I also purchased some of the men's boxes, which I will be doing the 90 day update coming up shortly. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you like reseller content, if you like unboxing videos, and definitely if you like these 90 day updates. I love sharing my results with you. It helps me stay accountable and it hopefully helps you decide for your reseller business uh, if the box is worth picking up purchasing, you know, based on my results. Drop me a like if you find this helpful. That definitely helps out my channel a lot as well. And if you do want to shop boutique by the box, um, there is a link down below. If it's your first time purchasing, you can use the code oh yeah for 10% off. And if you are a returning customer, you can use the code oh yeah five for 5% off your order. If you do use one of those codes, I do get a small commission, but that definitely helps my channel out and hopefully helps you save a little money on your inventory. So this was a 10 piece box, so not a lot of stuff. And the total for the box was $270. So $27 per piece. Now, I guess depending on your business model, that is a little bit steep. For me, I'm, you know, usually a volume seller. So yes, that's a little bit steep for me as well. But whenever I find Ted Baker at the thrift store or, you know, whenever I pick it up, it typically does pretty well for me. And generally speaking, it is a higher end brand that does sell for higher, even on the resale market. So I really wanted to give this one a try, especially with these being the premium pieces that have a high retail value and they are more substantial pieces um, like dresses and jackets and things like that. So what I'll do is I will show you uh, what's sold. I'll put it here on the side. And then at the end, I'll talk about what I still have left. I will let you know how much money I have made and my final assessment of whether or not I would order another one of these boxes. Typically with liquidation, when the cost of goods is a little bit higher, but I'm getting like new with tag merchandise, I aim to at least double my money to say that it's a worthwhile box. So let me show you what has sold. Um, first up, this was a striped layered shirt. It was the Corinne was the style. And um, this one sold uh, on Poshmark. It was a $46 Poshmark sale. So remember my cost of goods here was $27 a piece. Um, so my profit after the Poshmark fees was not super high on that one. Um, but, you know, this was a mix and some pieces were higher profit while others were lower. And that's kind of how it is with a mystery box. I don't necessarily know that this would have sold for much higher, to be honest, even if I would have waited a little longer. Um, this one did take almost the full 90 days. So the next one that sold was the Sea of Clouds Pleated Back Knit Top. And this one was actually really cute. It was a fun pattern. It was very nicely made. And it actually got a lot of attention on all my platforms, at least eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And um, this one did take 90 days though. Um, I don't know what the deal was. What, you know how some pieces, they get like a lot of attention and then they take forever to sell anyway. So this one actually did take, it sold on the 89th day it looks like. And it was a $40 eBay sale. Um, so still not a great profit on that one. But again, after getting so many likes, but no purchases, I have a feeling Either that was a saturated piece or I just, I had it priced too high. So um, it was approaching 90 days. I did go ahead and just let it go. I did make my money back plus a little profit on that one. So all is not lost. Um, then there was the Hendria mini ruffle dress. This one was a really super cute dress um, in a very small size, a Ted Baker size zero, which is, 
it's a zero, it's an extra small. So um, that one, you know, just based on the size, I knew I had to kind of wait for the right buyer. And this one took about 10 weeks to sell, but it did sell for $64 on Poshmark uh, via offer. So that one was pretty good. Um, I had the Xena blouse and sleeve mini dress. This one was also a size zero, but this one sold pretty quickly. This one sold on Poshmark for $70 um, after only three days. And I think somebody sent me an offer and I went ahead and accepted it. I probably in hindsight could have held out, maybe got a little bit more for it, but you know, that's always a gamble. You, you, know, you never know if you have something that's in a higher demand than it seems, or if you just stumbled upon the right buyer early on. Um, there were a few other of this dress listed um, in the same size. So I figured if somebody wants to buy it from me, $70 is not a bad uh, offer. And I went ahead and took it. Then I had the Toria Navy Halter Neck. So this one was, sorry, two of these same dresses. This one was the navy blue one. Um, this one actually sold, got returned to me and then sold again, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it got returned the first time because I guess I put the wrong size in the listing and on eBay, you know, they can open an item not as described, which like everything else was correct everywhere in the listing, like the measurements, the description, the size was correct, everything, but like in the title, I put the wrong size and they were able to return it based on that. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. I don't know if they just didn't read the rest of the listing or they it didn't fit or something. And they're like, let me find a reason that I can say this wasn't just not as described. And technically because I had um, the wrong size in the title, they were able to return it. So it is what it is. I did relist it and it did sell again on eBay for $60. Um, so that's fine. It's still sold. And uh, I actually, two of these dresses, there was, um, the other one was like a red orange color. And this one was a size three. This one also sold on eBay for $72. Um, these I was hoping to get a little bit more for. And again, if I would have held out, I probably would have, um, especially because they sold right at the, the end of spring and these are very summery pieces. So, you know, if I would have waited till June or July, I may have gotten more, but honestly for me, I really not in the storage business. If somebody's gonna offer me, you know, something decent on it, I make a little bit of money, I'm fine with that. I don't need it to sit around. Um, you know, not everybody's business model is like that and that's okay. It's just, you know, for me, if someone wants it, I'm gonna sell it, so. And then the last item that I had actually um, was an eBay sale. I don't have my screenshot because it's over 90 days. This actually sold the first day I listed it. So a very quick sale, but this one sold for $70 on eBay. I was able to find a picture of the actual item and uh, that way you can see what it was. Apparently my neighbors are getting their lawn cut, um, of course, during my YouTube filming time. So I'm really sorry if you hear bunch of uh, lawn landscaping noises in the background. The baby's taking a nap. I had to film right now. So that's what, <laughs> that's what we're dealing with today. So that is everything that sold out of the box. I do have three pieces left. I have the black skinny jeans. They were the Alicia's black skinny jeans in a size 34, which is a waist size 34. So it's actually a bigger size. And uh, those are still here. I have the lemon pink straight leg jeans. I'm kind of surprised that these are here as well um, because they are pink and they're very springy summery, but unfortunately these still have not sold. Uh, and then I also have the Inesia urban printed cargo jacket. This jacket, I love this jacket. I think this thing is super cool, um, but it is a size zero, so very small. And it's more of a fall piece so it's not in season. And also there were um, there were several others listed when I went on Poshmark to check comps. There are uh, a few other listings of this same style and size. So I'm not really surprised. 
Um, this one I really think is a substantial piece and maybe this is partly my fault here too, but um, I've price dropped it a little bit, but I kind of like have reached my bottom on it because I really feel like it is worth what I have it listed for. And I'm not like, if somebody offered me less, I might take it, but I'm not gonna keep dropping the price just to get rid of it, given that it's out of season and it's a substantial piece. So that's everything that's left. Final verdict on a box. I paid $270 for 10 pieces, $27 a piece. I was able to list all 10 items. It was relatively to get all the stuff online quickly. I was able to find descriptions and stock photos as examples. So it didn't take much effort on my part there. Um, my profit as of right now on this box is $121.61. So I'm not at the double mark on this box. Um, I will say that if you look at my specific business model, the double my money in 90 days, it's not there. Um, would I buy this box again though? Yes, I, I would. I think this is one of those situations where the items do need the right buyer. This is one of those situations that if you want the profit, you kind of have to wait it out. So although that's not my business model, I think there are plenty of other people that do have that business model that don't mind paying up and sitting on the inventory for the bigger profits. And this is a really great box to do that with. Um, so I'm really, you know, I, I don't regret it. And I think if I can sell off these other three pieces, I will easily hit double and to profit, you know, $270 on 10 items is, is really good. I mean, that's a minimal amount of work on my part between the listing and the photographing and all that. So I don't think this was a bad box at all. Um, I do wish it would have sold off within 90 days, but I, I don't think it, you know, was a, a loss or, or a waste of time whatsoever. Um, so let me know what you think. I know a lot of you probably ordered this box when it dropped because, um, you know, it was kind of hyped up. So I'm interested to know how your boxes are doing, if you've seen profit in these or uh, if you're still sitting on your pieces. Definitely let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. I've got the Ted Baker men's box coming up pretty soon here. Um, I've got updates on the one teaspoon boxes, the young, fabulous, and broke boxes that I purchased. So consider subscribing, consider um, hitting that notification bell. I've been trying to post videos at least three, three times a week. So I've got lots of content coming your way. Um, hit that like button on the way out. Um, like I said, it really helps out my channel a lot with the engagement on my videos. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.